Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, WordPress, and all their other major social networking websites. Essentially, I just want to talk about the effect of the internet on us. <clears throat> I think that the these sites, we'll just say Facebook now to represent them all. Facebook is the number one threat to spirituality in the 21st century. Yes. Why do I say that? Well, I'm a technologist. I love technology. Ever since I was 12, I was hooked to the computer, hooked to the internet. Uh, and I would consider myself an expert on all these websites and many, many, many different sorts of technology. I love the internet. I'm not knocking the internet. But the reason why I think that these social networking sites are so dangerous is because they are mechanizing us. They are systematically engineering us in many ways. The more that we use these sites, the more mechanical and robotic we become. We are spending way too much time on Facebook, way too much time on Twitter, way too much time on surfing the web. And I'm a technologist. I'm saying this as a proponent for technology. I love technology. But through meditation and through building up my awareness, I have sort of cloaked myself with the protection of seeing how dangerous these things are. When we have this insatiable urge to go on to Facebook and spend literally hours, literally hours out of each day looking at other friends' photos, you know, updating our status, you know, infatuating over some girl or some guy, you know, finding everything out about them you can on Facebook. You know, going on Twitter, Twittering, 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 Twittering. You know, people like Gary Vaynerchuk, which is an amazing dude, he's probably the most well-known proponent of these websites. And he takes a sort of business approach to them, saying, hey man, if you're starting a business, you gotta have Twitter. If you're starting a business, you gotta have Facebook. If you are a human being, you gotta have Facebook. And he actually has this argument that these things are, are making us more social. These things are, making, are bringing us together. Because now we have this device that can say, Hey, Joe, I am uh, sleeping. Hey, guys, I'm drinking this great wine. Go buy it. But I think that he has it wrong. These things are not making us more social. They're making us more introverted. They're making us more robot-like, you know? It's like we go home, zzz, 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 Facebook, Facebook, hey guys, how's it going? Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. You know, I see people walking across the street with their iPhones, literally not looking, Twittering, Facebook, Facebook. We're becoming robots, we don't even know it. I'm not saying don't use Facebook. I use Facebook every day. I'm not saying don't use Twitter. I'm not saying don't use the internet. But you need to understand, as technology rises, the risk becomes greater and greater and greater for us to lose the grasp, the connection to the Most High, to the Divine, to our supreme powers inside of us. I believe, maybe, not even 200 years ago, not even 300 years ago, the level of consciousness on this planet was by far greater than it is now. Because people weren't expending their energy on the internet, they weren't spending hours and hours on YouTube, they were actually in the reality, in the real world, actually reading books still, 
actually writing letters still, actually going out into the woods and figuring out, hey, how do I create a fire? How do I build this cabin in the woods? They were using their hands still. They were using their minds still. They were using their creativity still. Now, of course, we have to embrace technology. It's 2011. Don't shun technology. Embrace it. Adapt to it. Human beings have, have used their minds. We've used our minds. And we've built great technology. Just as birds have built beautiful nests and spiders have woven beautiful webs. We too. This is natural. These things are all natural to us. Facebook is natural. Twitter is natural. The internet is natural. I'm not saying these things aren't natural. I'm saying they are immensely powerful. But as Spider-Man said, with immense power follows immense responsibility. We have to be aware of the traps, the inherent traps that lie in things like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, WordPress, blogs, RSS feeds, flip cameras, iPhones, Macintosh computers, hard drives, you know, everything. I have it all. But as somebody who spends serious time meditating, connecting back with the Most High, recognizing the power within, I am able to contrast and I am able to juxtapose the internet, technology, and things like that, and see how dangerous they are. If we are not aware, if we are not constantly respecting, respecting these things, we have to respect the power that they have. We have to respect how powerful the internet is. It is immensely, immensely powerful. And we have to respect ourselves. And we have to see and catch ourselves when we're spending, you know, 90% of our lives twittering and texting. You know, we don't even have time to speak to our parents anymore. We don't even have time to speak to our friends anymore. We, we don't even have time to go to the park anymore. We don't even have time to read a book anymore. We don't even have time to sit down and have a nice meal or, or drink some nice tea. Why? Because we're texting, we're texting, we're on Facebook, we're on Facebook, we're on Facebook, we're texting, we're texting, we're texting, text, 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 YouTube, 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 video camera, video camera, video camera, YouTube, iPad, 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 iPhone, 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 we become robots. Robots. And we don't even know it. That's what's so sad about it. Facebook has enslaved you. Twitter has enslaved you. The iPhone has enslaved you. All of these pieces of technology have led to the mechanization of you. So, there's no need to think anymore. There's no need to be creative anymore. There's no need to say hello to your friends anymore. Why? Because we could just text all that stuff to us. We could text the love to them. We could text the hello to them. Don't you see what's happening? Instead of a heart, instead of a mind, Instead of the spirit, you now have, you know, internet cables inside of you, nuts and bolts and screws inside of you. I'm just saying, be careful. Be careful when it comes to technology. Be aware of the effect that technology has on you and has on your spirit. Cloak yourself with meditation and then proceed with embracing technology. But do not do it the other way around. Do not think that technology is more powerful than you. Do not think that you are truly, truly getting anywhere in your life by being on Facebook all day. No. Priorities, my friends. Put things in the right place.